What's going on guys? If you guys watch the YouTube channel, Mikey Balls Fishing, you know that I love throwing a Ned Rig. I catch fish in a foot of water, in 25 feet of water, I catch one pounders, I catch 10 and a half pounders on it. I absolutely love it. It's one of those baits that like anybody can throw, get a lot of bites on, capitalize on big fish, and you can throw it like around anything. You can throw it around some cover, you can throw it under docks, you can throw it in open water, clear water, semi-dirty water. It's probably one of the most versatile like jigs or rigs that's out there. In my opinion, it's kind of like the new school drop shot. Literally, you can put it in any angler's hands, any, anybody from a novice, beginner, to an expert. They're gonna be able to slang it out there and they're gonna get bit. So. One of the holdups though is a Ned has always been classically a finesse fishing style rig. And that's something that's been challenging for me because catching, I've, I've caught some big fish on a Ned and I'm always struggling like opening up hooks, struggling with keepers, struggling with brush guards, and I want to put it in thicker cover but I can't. So here's what we did. I got with my buddy Valisinski who owns Gambler Lures and we kind of collaborated and came up with what we're calling the power Ned, this guy. Basically, it takes all the factors that you hate about a Ned and turns them around into big, juicy red hearts. You're gonna love this thing. Let's break down some of the details about it. So if you guys know me, you know I like being straight up. So here's how we're gonna frame this. I'm gonna tell you what sucks about a Ned, and then I'm gonna tell you why this power Ned is different and why it solves some of those problems. The first thing is, I've struggled throwing a Ned into heavy cover or around heavy cover. You can see I'm around some trees, there's a bunch of rock and stuff like that. You know, I'll throw like a little finesse net around that. However, I get hung up. I tend to break a bunch of them off. The brush guard doesn't do the job. And then also, especially we got like a dock right over here. If I'm skipping docks, I get a lot of bait slippage. So a couple things that we did to kind of turn those factors around and allow the Ned to be more versatile and make this power Ned something that you absolutely need in your tackle box. First off, we put a standard wire hook on it. That's a three-aught standard wire. Not super stout, not super like meager, super finesse. It's enough so that you can throw it on bait casting tackle, you can throw it on 15, 20 pound fluorocarbon, even 30 to 40 pound braid, and you're not gonna open that hook, but at the same time, you're not gonna miss fish. It's not over stout. The other thing that we did, you can see there's a pretty decent brush guard on there. Most Neds either have like a wire style brush guard or a very, very sparse standard brush guard. This one's a little thicker. It's not super thick. You can always thin it out, which is in easy mod that you can do on the Ned, but this guy's a little bit thicker. So basically, what we're thinking is, if you wanna pitch this thing into trees, go ahead. If you wanna throw it into like the rough rocks and all like the nasty like riprap, go ahead. The other thing too that I was thinking about is, down in Florida, there's been a real hot bite, throwing like an ace, throwing a stick bait around pads, scattered, sparse, isolated pads. And I've found, I've done it on Lake Okeechobee in, in cattails and stuff, the Ned is awesome around that kind of stuff, but there's no Ned that accommodates that technique of fishing. So that somewhat thicker hook, as well as that thicker brush guards, really gonna allow you to throw that thing around those pads on bait casting tackle and not worry about opening up the hook. And I can guarantee you, you're gonna get more and bigger bites. So you probably already saw this when I showed you the jig, but this joker has a keeper that's a screw-in keeper. Basically, you thread your ace on there and then you twist it on and it locks it on. And the best way to illustrate how it locks it on is, I got one set up on an eighth ounce right here. Yeah. You're not gonna do that with a regular Ned. So if you're like me and you love to hate a Ned, check out the Power Ned. It's from Gambler Lures. I had my hand in designing it. I literally tried to look at every negative that comes along with fishing a Ned rig and correct it. It's not gonna be your Ned for every situation, don't get me wrong, but if you're looking to expand on your Ned rig fishing, put this thing in a, in a bush, pitch it to trees, toss it around pads, throw it on bait casting tackle. If you got heavier cover, heavier you know, gravel and rock that you're trying to access and the Ned that you're using just doesn't cut it, check this joker out. We literally made it for that. Screw on keeper, three aught standard wire hook, little heavier brush guard. It's available in an eighth ounce, quarter ounce, and three eighths, which will cover you anywhere from six inches of water all the way down to 25, 30 foot. Check this out, I'm throwing it. I absolutely love it, dude, because I'm sick of the shortfalls of a Ned, and this thing has me covered. Go check it out, all right? 